All right, guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. 64% through the game, one colored gem uh, with nine regular gems, one key, and two of every crystal. And let's resume. So we are, we're Coco. Um, we got through Slippery Climb. We didn't get the gem out of it, sadly. We did get the gem out of the high road, at least, and Toxic Waste. So uh, we have lights out. Now we can get a colored gem in here, so let's uh, try and do this one without dying. Now this one might be a little easier without dying. Now I don't believe it's this one. Yeah, okay, so it's not this one. I can't go backwards in this one, so. All right, so all we need to do is get to the end. No dying, there's only 15 crates in this entire level. Most of which are going to be Aku crates. Now, the light seems to stay around a little bit longer. Oh, boy. A little too much forward momentum. All right, there we go. All right, I do not know... There was a moving platform here. Oh, there is. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. All right. I think I can make this to the next area, and we should be fine. Oh, yeah. Now, I could have swore that there was normally a, uh, like, an enemy, and I would spin it, and it would hit this box, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, I should have gone there. All right. Luckily, it seems that they give you enough light that if you were to miss, like, one round of the... Yeah, it definitely seems like they give you enough light. Oh, boy. Okay, nope, you guys are just falling off the cliff. That's fine. Okay, it seems like they give you enough light for... If you were to miss one of the moving platforms. And that I am fine with. All right. Hit the checkpoint. These guys with the rats drop. All right. Ooh. Way too close to the edge. Not particularly a fan. All right. I can see the axe still. Oh. Almost ran into that. Oh, we can't even get the gem in this level. So it doesn't matter. But we will at least finish it. Oh, I don't remember. Well, it doesn't matter. We weren't going to finish the level because we needed a gem for it anyway. So, I mean, I guess... I don't know why, but I thought this one we could get right away. But, turns out we can't. We'll do that. Alright. Let's not get hit. That'd be great. Alright. We'll wait for this. It goes forward. Then it comes back. Yeah, it's the other lights out at, uh, level that you have to go. Um, there we go. Oh, come on. What was that? We'll at least make it through this, and then we'll try, like, some relics. Uh, we'll also try for another trophy. I think the next one is... Um, that extra, um, the, the other key level. So we don't, we don't particularly want to do that just yet. So, I uh, should not have gotten that there. That's fine. All right. Good. I, uh, I don't, I don't like that. 
And of course, I lost my, all my Aku. Maybe we won't get through this. I am having a hard time with this H or with this remaster, honestly. Like it's a lot harder for me than to play this one than it is to play the originals. Now I've heard, and it's incredibly stupid, and that was as well, that this is now the platformer equivalent of Dark Souls, which I mean, just why would you even compare the two? Is the real question. Now, I'm still getting over a little bit of a cold. Um, so my voice might crack a little bit. Um, well, that's fine. Um, because I'm trying to not cough. But uh, it's nothing major. Just held uh, recordings up for a little bit. Ah. All right, there we go. We got through it, so. Okay, so let's go to a level um, that we don't have a gem in. <coughs> Sorry. So, I believe one of the trophies is go through a level and, yeah, so there's the other key. Um, I mean, I guess I could go through one of those, but I think one of these might actually be easier. Not Road to Nowhere. Not Lost City. Rolling Stones. Definitely could. Yep, unlock it. Oh, well, I do have the blue gem, so I could do this one. I could get the gem, but I want to do something else first. All right. Okay, so we'll do that. And we'll just... We'll see about getting the relic. I don't think it's going to actually um, matter what we do. But because we don't have the gem for this, I'm actually curious about something. Now, I'm pretty sure we could go into the gem path, which I don't know why you would, but... Ooh. Can't afford to stop like that in a relic run, either. And look, we could have had invincibility. Would have been beautiful. That's normally where a bonus round is. Don't want to land there. Thank you. We can get a trophy for that later. Nope, that's fine. Didn't really stop time all that much either, so I might only get a sapphire here, but... I want to, I want to test something. Um, R, L, P. Now we might have to go through this not in a relic run for it to try. Yep. Okay. So we got we got a sapphire relic, and we can upgrade that later. <coughs> So, let's actually knock out two trophies in this one level. And I'm sure we can do it, too. Now, the beautiful thing is with the, like, embryo tokens, you can try those for multiple lives. Well, you know what? That actually works. That opens a path that I want. I don't want you, but I'll take you. All right, we'll take this nice and slow, ish. I mean, I'll break this one because it is a life. And break this one because it's a checkpoint. And then I just want the ability just to move through here a little bit quicker. All right, 
There we go. So it's just kind of hard to avoid the, um... Oh, I got... No, I didn't get it. Okay. It's a little hard to avoid the, um... There we go. The... The... the 3x3 three TNT box. Alright. So, what we can do... There we go. Secret path. A hidden gem. That is the take a... Um... Shoot. Well, I gained three lives off. Three lives off that. I'm not too upset. Um, that is the hidden gem route, uh, thanks to a color gem. So we can just start moving through this again. Grab that Aku when we can. Spin you away. Nice. We got the Aku immediately. Alright, sure, whatever. I'll take the one Tana. Alright, I don't really want to break any more boxes, though. Well, it, it forced me onto this, so I might as well get all the Wumpa Fruit. Not too bad. Okay, wait for it to go across. We're gonna do a light jump. There we go. Alright, we're over. We're, we're good. That's the last Brio token. Might as well just do this. Because we still have 55 boxes missing. So there we go. Now this should get us a trophy. Because we missed so many boxes. Yep, the box that broke the back. Oh, jeez. She's just getting pounded. <laughs> But there we go. That's two trophies. We got a relic, even though that the relic doesn't really add much to the percentage. And we gained a couple of lives to slowly get us towards that 99 live goal. <laughs> so, let's take a look at those trophies. Third of the way through the trophies... So we got, um, yep, discover a gem path after collecting a color gem. And then the box that broke the bandicoot's back is, uh, missed a lot of boxes. So, I mean, we don't have that many trophies left. Let's see here. Two boss trophies, 99 lives. I don't know that one. I have to look that one up. I don't, I don't know it off the top of my head. Uh, collect all the gems, collect all the relics. So there's one that I currently do not know. So, uh, there, I want out. All right, so that means that in the next video, it's more than likely going to be a one level video. And we are going to be in Jaws of Darkness. So, not what I want. I wanted to save. Oh, that's my autosave slot. So, I should be fine there. Okay. So, uh, when we come back, Jaws of Darkness, and it's probably going to be just that level uh, in the video. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys then.